Come on, girl. Right, Meatball. Everyone's got their nicknames. What is that about? I didn't get a student loan when I went to uni, so I had to work my whole way through, and I worked at Subway. <laughs> so I'd, I'd literally do the night shifts, 11 till 7. Isn't it mad how, like, a, a nickname just can come from that and then stick with you throughout your, like, illustrious start to your career? Well, my, my yeah. nan says to me, like, do you reckon you're going to be a nan? And people are go still going to call you Meatball. I was like, absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's here now. That's staying. You are Evertonian through and through. What was the first team you fell in love with or, or player who played for Everton? It was probably being Big Dung. He's a little bit like myself. He's a bit rough and ready. He, you can't really polish him off too much. <laughs> Even though he has the old that he's got. But he was pure passion. Where did the kind of like MMA story begin for you? And you know, what was that moment when you thought, right, I'm this is not about this. Well, yeah, it's not just like I'm going down the gym and staying fit. And this is like, to where you are now. Got sent home by two Dortmund from a nightclub where I used to work and they were like, go and watch this fight. It's like four o'clock in the morning and Ronda Rousey's fought Liz Carmouche. Now this was the first women's world title fight within the UFC. And um, I literally sent my coach an email just saying, I want to be like that Ronda Rousey, I want to do that. And then nine o'clock in the morning, I've gone into work in Subway and I'm like, right guys, this is the new Ronda Rousey. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna be it. Like, honestly, I'm like cutting onions in the back. I just thought, I'm gonna absolutely give this a go. Paddy the Paddy. Is he exactly what he's like, what we see on the, on the telly? I've known Patrick for about, and he's Patrick to me. Right. He's, not, he's not Paddy, but I've known Patrick for about 12 years. And I met him when I first walked in the gym. Our oh, careers have kind of always intertwined, no matter where. When he went to cage volleys, I thought I'm gonna be like him, and I think this is the first time where the words really see him. I'm gonna win it, like they're not. Is this for real? Like this little meatball lad and like this lad who looks like Jay from In Between is just out, <laughs> just like out here ending, <laughs> ending people in the cage, and and we're like we're trying to do everything we can for our city, like. <laughs> Big time socialist. Yeah. We, we're active yeah. wherever we can and making a stand and doing as much as we can for our communities. And it's about painting the city of Liverpool in a different light to what has probably it's been shown off the last 30, 40 years. I wanted to talk to you right, about this knockout. I, I classed it as like quite flamboyant to an extent. <laughs> I mean, it was a special knockout. I couldn't believe that, like, you could just see in my face as the girls are kicked on the floor, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> and, like, I'm getting ready to have to go back in because okay. until the referee said stop, you yeah. can't. You work your whole life for them moments and yeah. still don't get them. <laughs> Really? He turned up. He came to the dressing room and you just think that's one of your idols right there. Oh, I was like, do you want a bevy, lad? He was like, oh, don't, man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he came to the after party with me. He was carrying me bags. I was like, how about this? Wayne Rooney is carrying my bags <laughs> to the after party, but he had loads of things of encouragement to say to me, and he knew he was joking about Everton, and he was, I thought I had the job just joking. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, one day, Wayne, one day.